Welcome to the VIP Masterclass Series. I'm Josh Wright, and today's episode is requested by Gottfried, and he had asked the following. <clears throat> he said, I want to thank you for all of your wonderful instructions in your videos. It has really helped me to become a better pianist. I took keyboard lessons at a younger age, but I've been playing the piano now for two years. I'm glad to say it's going pretty well. I have one question, though, about memorization, and I know you have done a lot of videos on this topic but <clears throat> I think you haven't yet shed light on this question. Whenever I learn a new piece, I've got the feeling that I immediately should just start memorizing it, and I don't look at the sheet music until I make a mistake. Maybe that's the reason it can sometimes take a long time to actually play the piece. Is this a good way of learning a piece, or am I doing something wrong? I thought it may have something to do with the fact that I'm not a fast sight reader, so I've started practicing sight reading every day. I hope my question makes sense. Sincerely, Godfried. Thanks so much for uh, your kindness and support, Godfried, for being a part of this group. Um, one thing that I will warn you against is people who generally are weak sight readers are stronger memorizers. And the, uh, the opposite is actually true as well. The better I got at sight reading, a lot of times the lazier I would have gotten with uh, memorizing because you can just read the score so easily. So I generally find that someone's weakness sometimes plays to their strength more in this area of memorizing. Uh, my worst sight readers are usually my best memorizers and I'll often vice versa is, is true. Sometimes um, good sight readers are great memorizers too. I have a lot of those types of students as well, but generally uh, you do see that the weaker the sight reader is, the better the memorizer they become because it is so frustrating. And if they're any, gonna keep any type of semblance of momentum in their practice sessions and their learning overall, they need to develop that skill of memorizing quicker. Now, if any of you are wondering, well, you've told us in other videos that memorizing as you go is a viable option. And I stand by that piece of advice. I remember I was learning the Rachmaninoff Etudes Tableau, and I think I've shared this story many times probably in this group, but I arrogantly went to my teacher the first of the semester. I said, I'm going to learn all nine of these uh, Opus 39 Etudes uh, by the end of the semester. And I believe there's nine of them. Now I'm second guessing that. But she said, oh, okay, great. You can definitely do that. She always believed in me more than she probably should have. But uh, after a one and five, I chose those to start with because they were some of the harder ones in that set. And uh, I was so tired that I was like, I need kind of a break from these uh, intense pieces. Rachmaninoff is so incredibly complex and it's so difficult to memorize. And I remember on the first one, I said, I'm gonna try out a new way of learning this. I'm gonna memorize as I go. It's in this really tricky one. Um, super difficult. I mean, even just reading it is hard. And it took me a week to memorize like 15 or 20 bars, which for me is very slow. And uh, I was like, I don't think I can do this. I need to get this in my hands a little bit more. Is that bad? And I asked my teacher that and she said, no, it's not bad at all. What you don't wanna do is you don't wanna develop a muscle memory as your main source of memorization. So this brings up a good point that I wanna to discuss today, Gottfried, and to the rest of you, is it's okay to establish some muscle memory to help you play extremely complex passages more fluidly. Certainly this was the case in many passages in Rock 3. I needed to just get them. I actually, in Rock 3, I would memorize the second movement before I would learn it, and then I would learn it uh, in my fingers, and then I'd go back and I'd re-memorize it. That was one of the best ways to get something comfortable because I started with intellectual memory only, then I got the physical memory, and then I reinforced the intellectual memory. Again, the traps are to either uh, only get muscle memory or to have such a good intellectual memory but never develop your physical memory. You have to develop both. Anyone who says muscle memory is terrible is probably referring to the fact that so many students, you know, memorize their Bach minuet and they'll mess up here and they have no clue where they're at and they have to start all the way back at the beginning. I've seen students do this on you know short pieces that are one or two pages and they get to the last bar of the piece and they mess up, they have no clue where they're at. They say, can I start again? I was like, absolutely not. We're, we're like five seconds from the end, finish the piece. 
oh, I can't. I can only start from the beginning of the piece or the beginning of the section. So what I would recommend, Godfried, is 